Hello and welcome to the Commander's Quarters. I'm your host, Mitch. Glad to have you here. Here at the Commander's Quarters, we're all about Commander on a budget. Today, we have an episode of Commander's Two Cents. On episodes like these, I give you my own personal take on topics about the format in general and current news. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. And while you're at it, subscribe and review our podcast as well. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all their support. So recently I gathered a ton of data from EDA Trek on Commander decks and costs and some other things too. If you want more background on that, go ahead and check out my episode on the cost of your Commander collection where I go about it in more detail. Anyways, after examining the data, I've got some pretty interesting findings. So on today's episode, I'm going to reveal some of those findings to you. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about the most expensive color in Commander. And to do that, we're going to evaluate what the most expensive Commander deck color is. To do this, we're going to look at the average deck cost for each color. The average deck cost is going to be the average of average deck costs for commanders that have 100 or more decks on EDH rack. Essentially, this average doesn't take into account how many decks each commander has, so basically no costs are weighed. So if a commander has exactly 100 decks, its price has the exact same weight as one that has thousands. Basically, I don't want an expensive and popular deck to really just throw off the data. So basically what it boils down to is that I'm looking for this. If you were to pick a monocolor commander at random, around what could you expect to spend on them based on their color? Now before we start, let's do a quick experiment. Either do this in your head or write down what you think the order is. What colors are going to be the most expensive and which are the least? And now I'm going to wait till you're done with that. Okay, that's enough time, let's get going. So because there are five colors in magic, obviously we're going to start things off with number five. And just a note, we're going to be going from least expensive to most expensive. So the fifth most expensive commander color, otherwise known as the cheapest commander color, is red. Mono red decks have an average deck cost of $229.28. So comparing to the other colors, if you're going to be building a mono red deck, it's probably going to be cheaper than the other mono colors. Now, obviously, there are mono red decks that cost more than $230, and there are obviously ones that cost less. But if you're thinking about building one, on average, this is what you can expect to pay. And just a quick note, yes, these costs include the commanders, but they don't include basic lands. Anyways, let's take a look at some mono-red commanders that are around this price. First up, there's Varchild Betrayer of Keldor, which is slightly cheaper at $221. Varchild's all about hitting opponents and making tokens, so yeah, when it's combat-related, there's probably not too much going on there when it comes to out-of-budget things. And then there's Feldman the Third Path, which is just slightly above the average at $232.60. This is a deck that's focused on getting big creatures into your graveyard and then making copies of them and swinging out. Red's got a good amount of big cheap creatures and a ton of way to discard cards, so there you go. And then there's Naheb the Eternal, which is just slightly more expensive at $243.16. Naheb decks are about casting spells that deal damage and then getting a lot of mana and then casting even more spells that deal damage. So yeah, for the most part, nothing too expensive going on there. Now again, these decks are around the average cost, but let's look at the low and high in red. The mono red commander with the lowest average deck cost is Zonahedron Grinder. Zada's average deck cost is currently $74.24. Zada decks like to make a ton of tokens and then cast some targeting spells. There are a ton of cards that work great in a Zada deck that don't really see too much play elsewhere. And the highest average deck cost in red comes with Godo Bandit Warlord. The current average cost of a Godo deck is $643.30. Essentially, Godo can be built as a competitive deck which is going to drive its price up. Essentially, Godo can tutor up Helm with a host and you get infinite combats from there. For the most part, if a commander is part of the competitive scene, it's going to have a higher price on average. But now let's move away from red and on to number four. And the fourth most expensive color in Commander, or in other words, the second cheapest, is green. The average cost of a mono green deck is $323.62. That's actually a huge jump for mono red, with the difference being nearly $100. So whereas green is the second most affordable color, it is still leagues behind red. Part of this might be because green cards on average seem to see more play than red. If a deck has green in it, it's going to be using green cards for ramp. If a deck is running red, it might not necessarily run too many red cards. Regardless, let's look at some mono green commanders that are around this cost. Or actually, should I say, around-ish. Because there's a decent spread in green when it comes to commander deck cost. Freilies is slightly cheaper at $283.09. You've got plenty of options of elves or just really good green creatures in green, so the cost isn't going to get that expensive in compared to other decks. And then there's Grothama, who comes in at $318.71. 
Grothama is kind of an interesting commander because it can be built in some different ways. Regardless, there are plenty of budget ways to build it, so its cost is right around the average. The actual closest one that's above the average is Solvala, which is at $440.23. So as you can see again, green's got a decent spread when it comes to cost. A lot of decks are lower than that average cost, and there are decks higher than the average cost, but there's not too many right around it. But the commander that has the lowest average deck cost in green is Grun the Lonely King. Grun's current average deck cost is $48.45. And with that price, Grun actually holds the title of the cheapest commander deck on average. Makes sense for a deck that just wants to cast an attack with a huge ape. On the other end of the spectrum, there's Azusa Lost But Seeking. On average, she has the highest cost of any mono green deck at $796.65. Decks that focus around lands can be on the more expensive side. And she's actually pretty expensive herself too, so she's really not helping with that cost. But now let's move away from green and on to number 3. And the third most expensive color in Commander is... White. The average deck cost for a mono white deck is $324.75. Now this might be a somewhat separate topic, but I do think it is relevant to bring up. Mono white is considered by many Commander players to be the weakest color identity in Commander. I actually recently did an episode on that, and it's kind of hard to debate against that. So it might be surprising to some people to see Mono White finish third in this list. Now it did just edge out green, but still it's more expensive on average. My thought on it is this. Red is going to be the cheapest because it has a lot of cards that don't see too much play outside of Mono Red decks. White has a lot of utility cards that see play in decks outside of Mono White. On top of that, in comparison to other Mono Color decks, Mono White leans on artifacts the most. More than any other color, Mono White struggles with card advantage and ramp. Two things that are extremely important in Commander, and Mono White just really doesn't have them. Because of that, it has to lean on some expensive artifacts to fill those holes. Again, this is just my take on it, I could be completely wrong. But now let's move on to some Commanders that are close to this average deck cost. SRAM Senior Edificer is the first one, which comes in at $282.60. It's a deck that can be built around cheap auras or cheap equipment, so there you go. And then there's Bruno the Fading Light, which comes in at $331.17. And then Daring King of Keldor comes in at $355.16. A deck that wants to get hit and make a ton of tokens can be built budget when it needs to. But now let's talk about the low and high end of Mono White. The Mono White Commander with the lowest average deck cost is Audric Master Tactician. Currently its average deck cost is $135.40. Interestingly enough, that's a lot more expensive than Mono Red or Mono Green's lowest. And then it's also interesting to look at the high cost. Nahiri the Lithomancer has the highest average deck cost for Mono White at $486.61. This is a lot lower than Mono Green and Mono Red's highest. So basically the lows and the highs of Mono White sit in between the lows and the highs of Mono Green and Mono Red. Again, let me give you some speculation on that really quickly. Mono White decks lean heavily on artifacts. So the lowest cost deck like Audric still might have to use some of those expensive artifacts to actually make the deck run properly. So the lowest average cost is still going to be higher than Mono Green and Mono Red's because those colors don't lean on artifacts as heavily. The high end for Mono White though is also lower too. Like I mentioned before, Mono White is considered to be the weakest color identity. To my knowledge, there are zero top tier Mono White commanders in competitive EDH. And because of that, the highest average deck cost is also going to be lower as well. Again, these are just my thoughts on the matter and I could be completely wrong, so take them with a grain of salt. But now it's time for us to move on from white and on to number two. And the second most expensive color in commander is blue. Mono blue decks have an average deck cost of $358.50. Many Commander players consider blue to be one of the most powerful colors in Commander. You get access to some of the best draw spells, counter spells, and extra turn spells too. So yeah, things can get pretty pricey. Now I mentioned before that Mono White is probably the color that leans most heavily on artifacts. Now I believe that to be true, but when it comes to colors outside of green, pretty much all of them have to lean a little bit on artifacts because they don't have land ramp. And Commander Mana Rocks are pretty much the next best thing. So that might be another reason that green, which is also considered to be a very powerful color, is less expensive. But anyways, let's take a look at some mono blue commanders that are around this average deck cost. First up, there's Teferi Mage of Zalfira, which comes in at $328.03. This can be a very controlling deck as you're basically shutting your opponents off of instant speed. And then there's Emery Lurker of the Lock, which comes in at $358.03. This deck can utilize a lot of cheap artifacts, but it can also utilize some more expensive ones too. Speaking of utilizing some expensive artifacts, there's Musio. And his average deck cost comes in at $361.86. But in Mono Blue, it might be even more interesting to look at the low and the high. The lowest average deck cost with Mono Blue comes with Jalira Master Polymorphist. Essentially, you're polymorphing creatures into really big non-legendary creatures. Because of that non-legendary part, that probably keeps the cost down. But on the high end, you've got Teferi Temporal Archmage, which has an average deck cost of $1,304.87. Teferi can be built competitively, and yeah, it's a really expensive deck. This is the biggest gap by far between the low and the high that we've seen today. And yes, there are definitely some mono blue commanders that are on that more expensive end that might pull that average deck cost up. But blue is still not the most expensive color. 
Now through process of elimination, you probably already guessed it, but let's move on to number one. And the most expensive color in Commander is black. Mono black decks have an average deck cost of $365.90. Again, like blue and green, black is considered to be one of the most powerful colors in Commander. My apologies to red and white. Black can do a lot of things, it's got really good draw, but more importantly, it's got the best tutors. And in a singleton format, a tutor can be a really big deal. And also in a mono black deck, if you want to run Cabal Coffers, that's going to cost you. There are a lot of reasons why black is an expensive color, but let's get into the commanders. So some commanders that are right around this average deck cost are Demon Lord Belzenlock, Skithrix the White Dragon, and Drana Calastria Bloodchief. Belzenlock currently comes in at $354.93. And then Skittles, everyone's favorite Infect Blight Dragon, comes in at $369.65. Drana comes in just above that at $376.02. And as a deck that cares about a lot of mana, you can bet that that's running Cabal Coffers. Now when it comes to the low and the high cost, there is a decent gap. Shirei Shizo's Caretaker takes the low with $110.58. A deck that's built around a ton of creatures that have a power of one or less, yeah, that can be pretty budget. And then the most expensive mono black commander is Chainer Dementia Master at $580.08. Again, a deck that cares about generating a lot of mana is probably going to be expensive in mono black. It's also going to be running a ton of pricey creatures to reanimate too, so there's where you get the cost. Now you might think that we've got to be done because we've gone through all five colors, but we're not. So surprise, we're going to talk about the real number one. The actual most expensive color in Commander is Colorless. Ironic because Colorless is actually the lack of color. Colorless Commanders have an average deck cost of $399.54. Ones around that price-ish are Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, Cause Like the Great Distortion, and Karn Silver Golem. The lowest Traxos and the highest Cause Like Butcher of Truth. So this last part is kind of joking because there aren't too many Colorless Commanders, but also kind of not. Colorless decks can definitely be very expensive to build. Just a few Eldrazi Titans and your deck is definitely not budget. And I know that technically colorless isn't a color, but I thought it'd still be fun to mention. And with that, the show is coming to a close, so it's my turn to hear from you. So in the comments below, let me know if you guessed this order correctly, or if the order surprised you. And make sure you're following us on social media for more updates and sneak peeks on future episodes. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons who helped make this show possible. I truly couldn't do any of this without your support. If you want to support this channel directly, consider becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, including being able to vote on future commanders for deck tax. There are even tiers where you get your own personalized deck tech dedicated to you. You can check out all the Patreon tiers and rewards at patreon.com slash commanders quarters. If you haven't already, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Here at the Commander's Quarters, we're all about budget commander. So while you're at it, go ahead and check out some of our other types of episodes. And with that, I'm out of here. Thanks again and have a good one.